In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 2, Solomon gives his testimony to this. He says, I said in my heart that I will go now and I will prove thee with myrrh. Therefore enjoy pleasure and behold, this also is vanity. I said of laughter, it is mad and of myrrh, what doth it? He said, I sought in my heart to give myself unto wine, yet acquainting my heart with wisdom and to lay hold on folly till I might see what was the good for the sons of men, which they should do under the heaven all the days of my life. In other words, Solomon said, I sought out the greatest pleasures to, to a man's flesh that he could ever enjoy, thinking that I would find true purpose and fulfillment and happiness in this. And he said it was all vanity. He said it was like grasping after the wind, trying to grab a hold of the wind. He said it was like a passing of the wind. It was all vanity, all in vain. He didn't find true peace and happiness in the abundance of the accumulation of things, in accomplishments, things that he accomplished uh, through wisdom and success as the world sees it. But he had to discover that that was only in Christ, a relationship in God. And so many of us in the world today, even Christians feel, if we can just accomplish this, if we can get this, if we can if we can grab a hold of this in society, if, and, and, and in itself, these things are not wrong. It's not wrong to want a career. Don't get me wrong. It's not want, wrong to want to better your education, to want a good job. It's not wrong to want to have a good quality of life for you and your family. Maybe you desire a car or a house or better schooling for your children. But if that's all that you have, and you don't have a relationship with God. You don't see the greater in depth uh, of knowing what true fulfillment and true success is. You have nothing. This is why Jesus said, what shall it profit a man if he gain the world and lose his soul? You see, people's priorities are not in proper order. And, and those outside of Christ who are not born again, many of them seek these things. Jesus said, in the book of Matthews, that the Gentiles seek after all these things. But he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. And then he said, all these things will be added unto you. Many people are seeking the pursuits and the careers and the money and the fame. And, and, and I, need a, I need a man. I need a boyfriend. I need a girlfriend. In itself, I'm not saying these things are wrong or sinful. But many times